Hello, welcome to Bourbon and a Baby. My name is Jay. Max will not be with us today because, you know, he's a baby. Uh, and today we will be reviewing Angel's Envy. This is their uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey that is uh, then finished in port wine casks. This is a special bourbon to me because Angel's Envy is actually the bourbon that got me into bourbon. It, it was kind of my gateway gateway into this beautiful world that is that is bourbon. So what was your gateway bourbon? What's the bourbon that you first really started to like that made you want to drink more bourbons? Let me know in those comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and, and start to open this and, and, and give it a pour. All right, so Angel's Envy is 86.6 proof. 43.3% alcohol. And like I said, this is finished in port wine casks. Uh, the bourbon itself, before it's put into port wine casks, they say is generally around six to seven years old. There's no age statement on it, but that's what they kind of tell us, that it's somewhere in there. And then it ages in those uh, port wine casks for another three to six months or so, uh, depending on, uh, you know, flavor and taste. They also say at Angel's Envy that these are all small batches, uh, anywhere from eight to 12 barrels, which is actually a really small batch. So, um, so yeah, let's go ahead. Before I give this a nose, uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you can know when I release a new video. And if you like this video today, hit the like button as well. That really helps out a lot. All right, let's give this a nose. It's got a, it's such an interesting bourbon, um, and, and we, I guess we can debate on whether it's truly considered a bourbon since it is finished, but um, just a little bit different of a nose than you would get on your typical bourbon. Although I do get a really heavy vanilla right off the bat, and I get some like fresh fruit uh, as well, maybe like some. Um, uh, if I were to place it, I would maybe say pear um, or apricot, some, something along those lines. It's, it's kind of a, a, a sweeter nose, but also dry. You can, you can, it's almost kind of dry on, on the nose, which is interesting as well. And I think that is probably that uh, port wine influence coming across there. You can get a little bit of the barrel influence on the nose, but not too heavy. And I'm not getting a lot of the darker notes that you tend to get on a typical bourbon as well. I don't get a whole lot of um, brown sugar, maybe just a hair. Um, not getting a lot of cinnamon. But there is a bit of a nuttiness uh, to, to the nose here. Um, maybe more like an almond uh, coming across. So yeah, it's, it's like I said, uh, not your typical bourbon uh, bourbon smells, uh, although there are some of those typical ones in there, but overall, uh, this is just a little bit different. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, give this a taste. Cheers. Yeah, and again, very different than what you get from a typical bourbon, uh, but in a good way, in my opinion. I really like this. Now, um, I've watched a lot of reviews on um, other Whiskey Tube reviewers, uh, uh, Cover Angels Envy, other podcasts, and, um, and and just reviews in general, blog blog reviews, and. Angel's Envy can be a bit polarizing uh, across those mediums. Um, usually, uh, people either really like it or they or they really don't like it. Um, and I personally am on the I really like it side. Um, but I can see where if you are expecting a traditional bourbon, 
I could see where, where maybe um, in that sense you wouldn't like it as much. So let's, let's uh, give this another sip here. That strong vanilla stays on the palate. Um, it has, uh, I'd, I'd say like a medium finish. It's not an overly long finish. It doesn't stay with you super long. And it does, um, it, it does kind of go dry towards the end. Again, I, I believe that's from the wine influence. And with, with it being 86.6 proof, this is something you don't get a ton of heat from. Um, if you're if you are newer to bourbon and you don't like kind of that initial um, kind of kick or, or, or punch that you'd get from from a higher proof bourbon, this would be uh, something that, that I would suggest to try. It's uh, I hate to use the word, but it's really smooth. It goes down really easy. That nuttiness comes through on the palate too. Uh, yeah, I believe it's kind of like, um, kind of like an almonds, uh, almond taste flavor that, that, that I think I'm picking up there, but on unsalted, uh, unsalted almonds. Um, and then, yeah, I, th I, I feel like you can, you can get that kind of, uh, that wine influence too. Um, so yeah, strong, heavy vanilla, almonds, unsalted almonds and kind of that dry wine finish to it. Uh, and that apricot I mentioned uh, picking up on the, uh, on the nose, I, I, I feel like I, I get that on the palate as well. Some type of a, of a fresh, kind of a ripe fruit influence. Uh, but yeah, again, this is just, this is something that you could sit back and just enjoy throughout the evening. Um, you, you wouldn't, with it being 86.6 .6 proof, you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, you could only drink one pour, you could have a, a couple of pours and, and just kind of enjoy this throughout the night. Uh, and like I said, it's real, real easy to drink. It's a good summer bourbon, in my opinion, if you were, if you were to sit out on, say, uh, your patio or something on a, on a warm day, throw a cube in here if, 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 if need be. Um, but yeah, really, really great. Angel's Envy does have a spot on the um, on the on the Bourbon Trail. Uh, they have a place in Louisville. Um, I've been to. I didn't go on the full tour the the day that I was there. They had already um, they already booked up, but they did kind of a, a roundtable tasting that, that I participated in. Uh, it was really interesting. They um, they did a good job of kind of uh, explaining, you know, walking you through uh, kind of the flavor wheel of of, of bourbon and, and kind of how different things influence it and it was it was really interesting one of the things that i picked up on uh that i want to i want to do here is they had you put one ice cube in it and i want to test this i haven't tested this since i did that uh tour uh or that tasting uh almost two years ago now uh but the guy said to, to put one cube in it and give it a real heavy swirl and then to just tell how big of a difference you get um, from that. And I remember picking up a real heavy green apple uh, smell when I did that um, on that. So let's, let's try that out. Yeah, and again, I get that, uh, that kind of fresh or ripe fruit really goes into like a this strong green apple. But interestingly enough, I actually get more of kind of that um, ethanol or alcohol smell with with the Cuban. In. It tampers the uh, the vanilla down a bit, and it actually smells a bit more like your typical bourbon. Um, so let's see, let's see what it does to the taste. It, 
Interesting. It actually makes it more dry. It kind of dries up your tongue a lot quicker with, with the, the cube in there. That's something that I would have expected to happen. And it just kind of mutes some of those other flavors um, that, that I picked up on before, although that the vanilla is still there. Um, and I don't get the that green apple that I did get on the nose. Um, mostly just kind of vanilla, maybe a light oak, and, um, and that's about it. The rest is it kind of tampers because it, it tends to dry up really quickly. So kind of an interesting experiment to do there. Um, as far as uh, what I recommend it or not, uh, the, it is around $50, at least in my area. Uh, it's kind of right at that $50 mark. Um, if you're... If that's something that uh, is affordable to you, then I totally, I definitely recommend. Uh, it is, if you're looking for a traditional bourbon, this is not your traditional bourbon, um, but it is really good in my opinion. Uh, and it is, um, they've done a great job with their marketing. If, I mean, just look at this bottle design. It's a beautiful bottle design. They have, I don't know how, how well it'll pick up on the camera, but um, they have the angel wings on the back of the bottle. And, you know, it's an interesting story, the story of Angel's Envy, uh, started by uh, Lincoln Hender the legendary Lincoln Henderson and his son Wes. Um, if, for those of you that don't know, Lincoln Henderson uh, was a longtime master distiller at Brown Foreman. So he is the guy behind Gentleman Jack uh, with Jack Daniels. Uh, he is behind uh, Woodford Reserve. Uh, and then he kind of retired and then his son Wes uh, uh, kind of convinced him and, and talked him into um, starting up Angel's Envy. Some pretty major brands that, uh, that are attributed to Lincoln Henderson. So, and, and Angel's Envy is right up there, uh, you know, with, with them. So, um, yeah, I would totally recommend this. Like I said, you know, a $50 bottle is not something, uh, at least for me, that, uh, that, I, that I just go and, and grab and, and, and don't think twice about. So um, this is the second bottle I've owned. Uh, this, like I said, this was the bourbon that got me into bourbon, which is interesting because it doesn't really taste much like a bourbon um, or like your typical bourbon. But this was a good gateway bourbon for me. So if any of you out there are um, considering getting into bourbon, uh, this I would recommend because like I said, it's easy to drink. Uh, you don't get a lot of heat or heavy burn off of it. And, um, and it just tastes good. Uh, I remember the first time I had it, I actually had it uh, in ginger ale. So, um, and I, I remember I just kind of fell in love with that the way that this mixed with ginger ale to where eventually I had the first few times I had it, I did have it with ginger ale and then eventually I just started drinking it with an ice cube and then eventually I started drinking it neat and then I started branching out to other bourbons and uh, here I am uh, on YouTube talking about bourbon. So um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it to, to a beginner. Uh, although, you know, like I said, that $50 price tag isn't necessarily a, a beginner price. Uh, so maybe try it, try a pour at a bar. Um, but uh, it's really good. So a, a strong recommend for me. I really like this stuff. They also have a few other products. You can get their, um, their rye, which is finished in rum casks, which is fantastic. Uh, even people that, that um, tend to not like this tend to really like their uh, their uh, rum finished rye. Uh, they also, uh, once a year, release a cast strength version of this. It's a little pricey, but it is a fantastic pour. Um, I, I can't say enough about, about their their cast strength releases. That they've, I, I've really enjoyed them. Uh, they did just release a, a sherry cask version of this. Uh, so instead of being aged in port, uh, port wine casts, they are aged in sherry casts. That was a pretty limited release that they did, so I have not had a chance to sample that. Hopefully one day maybe I will, because um, I have not met a uh, sherry cast finished bourbon that I did not like. So, um, so yeah, a strong recommend. All right, that'll do it for uh, this review. Thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button. 
Um, leave me a comment below. What do you think of Angel's Envy? Uh, have you had it? If so, do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, what was your gateway bourbon? Let me know in those comments below as well. And lastly, get yourself some sweet bourbon and a baby swag like this shirt right here. I will put the link to my shop on Spreadshirt in the description below. Um, but that is shop.spreadshirt.com backslash bourbon dash and dash a dash baby. Uh, but again, I'll put that link below. Again, thanks for watching. Cheers. It's definitely better without the ice. Leave, you can leave the ice out. <laughs>